Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can add your LUTs or lookup tables into Adobe Lightroom. So welcome back to another video. It's great to see you here again on the channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button for future videos from me. And if you already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here. So now you're able to add in your LUTs that were traditionally used for your video footage directly into Adobe Lightroom Classic. So I'll be showing you step by step on how to do that. So first of all, make sure that you have the latest version of Adobe Lightroom Classic installed on your computer. This feature is not available in some of the earlier versions of Adobe Lightroom Classic so just make sure that you're up to date. I am currently in Lightroom Classic 12.0.1. So just make sure you're always in the latest software version to make sure that this works. So first make sure that you open your image using Adobe Raw. So once we're here, you click on this icon right here, which shows all your presets. So if you look at this sticky note right here, you click on it, you're going to be entering this window which allows you to create presets but we're not going to do that, but we're going to do something slightly different. So holding option or alt on your keyboard, go ahead and click that once again. And then this opens a slightly different window. So once you are here, what you can do is name that LUT that you're trying to add. In my case, I'll be adding the MSDOT for orange and teal. And this is one of my LUTs that I've created. If you're interested, I'll be leaving a link below to those LUTs, so make sure you check them out. I have 14 LUTs that you can use to color grade your footage, and as well as some conversion LUTs, and I've made all of them into an easy to use preset for Adobe Premiere Pro. But the LUTs work on any video editing software that accepts LUTs or dot cube formats. Going back to here, we can leave this as is if you like, and all of this as well. Uh, under lookup table, we'll keep that unchecked and then we'll check color lookup table instead. Once you're there, you can navigate to your LUTs and here I have the LUT that I'm looking for and I'll click on load and it'll bring it back here. Under space, you can leave that as sRGB, gamut as clip, sample 16 and all of these settings you can keep as is. So before we move on, you can also go to group up here and either, either create a new group where you can store all of your LUTs, or in my case, I already have a group which is MS LUTs, so I'll just add it there. So once that's ready, you can click OK. So going back into Camera Raw, you can go up to the Edit tab all the way at the top on the right side right here. And right here under Profile, you can browse for that new LUT that you have just saved. Once you hit on Browse, you'll be able to see all the different profiles. And if you have created your own, that should be somewhere out here. And because I created mine and added it to MS LUTs, I can just toggle that open and find the one that I was looking for, the OT. And as soon as you click on it, you can see that you can adjust the intensity of that LUT, just the same way you would when adding this LUT into a video editing software. So now that we know that this user profile has been saved, or this LUT has been saved as a user profile, we'll bring it now into Adobe Lightroom Classic. So click on done. So once you are in Adobe Lightroom Classic and you have brought in all the images that you're working with, so I have in this case, that image from earlier, which it brought it in with the actual LUT that I used earlier. And as you can see right here, under basic settings, under profile, that the OT LUT has already been applied. If I go to this photo, this drone photo, you can see that my profile is still Adobe Color and that LUT hasn't been applied yet. So what we're going to do is try to now bring in those LUTs or that LUT into Adobe Lightroom Classic. So go under profile, click on browse, and now you'll be able to see the LUTs that you have saved. And this is the one that we had just worked with, the OT LUT. And these are other LUTs that I have previously saved. I can just hover over these LUTs and you'll be able to see how your image changes according to that look. So let's go back to this OT LUT. So you click on it and as soon as you click on it, then you also get a, an intensity slider here at the top, similar to what we saw in Camera Raw. And here you can adjust the amount and the intensity of that LUT. So over here, it's too intense. Over here, it doesn't apply at all. So somewhere in between, 
And the th key thing here is that you want to go back and further edit your photo just to make it look right because the LUT is, although it's going to add that stylistic look to your photo, you still have to further tweak your photo because every photo is different and every shooting scenario is going to be different. So that LUT is going to look slightly different depending on what you're shooting. So we close that and we can further go in and adjust different settings. Let's do the blacks, let's close the shadows a little bit. Add some contrast, you can add some clarity and play around with different settings to your heart's content. If you have multiple LUTs that you want to add into Adobe Lightroom, you're going to have to do those one by one, unfortunately, but the good thing is that once you've saved them once, they'll be saved forever. Well, until you uninstall Lightroom from your computer and all of that stuff, or you get a new computer. Another thing you could do too, is once you have a look that you like based off of those LUTs, you can go into presets and just create a preset based on that LUT. Say I have this look that I really like that is based off of that initial LUT that I added. I can go into my presets bin over here, click on the plus sign, create preset. And I'll save it into group Mario and I'll name it test. I'll keep all these settings check marked and click on create. And right away under my presets, you can see that test has been selected and it's right here. If I have a new photo, like for example, this one, if I want to apply that test, they will apply it right there as a preset. The cool thing too is that you can also adjust the intensity of your presets that you have created. If you wanna add your LUT into Adobe Photoshop, this is how you can do it. So once you have your image open in Photoshop, you can go under adjustments and select color lookup. Once here, you can go to 3D LUT file, load your 3D LUT, find it wherever you saved it and select the LUT you want to add. Click on open and that will add that LUT into your photo. Less is always more though, so you want to adjust the opacity of that layer that you have created, and that in turn will adjust the intensity of that LUT on your photo. And again, you might also need to do further tweaks to your image to make it look just right. Pretty handy tool. So anyways, that's it for today's video. This is how you can add a LUT into Adobe Lightroom Classic. I hope you enjoyed it. You learned something new. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.